managing debt. Borrowing money is not necessarily a bad idea, especially if it allows you to do things that will pay off later in life, such as buying a house or getting an education. These are investments that will provide a positive return throughout your life. Debt of any kind, however, can quickly get out of control, and keeping a handle on it is one of the best ways to get sorted. Here's a tour of the basics. Paying off debt versus saving. Typically, the interest you pay on a debt will be greater than the interest you earn through saving, particularly if things like credit cards, higher purchase and personal loans are involved. It usually makes sense to reduce that debt as a first priority. However, if you're a member of a workplace savings scheme with employer and government contributions, such as KiwiSaver, then if you can afford it, it generally makes sense to continue putting money here, as this is a long-term savings plan for your retirement. Should I borrow because I can afford the repayments? Getting into debt is very, very easy. Getting out of it may not be. Don't imagine that the people promoting the loan will tell you whether you're making the right decision. They're going to be making good money off the interest you pay. When you're in debt, you limit the options you have to do other things, so think hard before you take it on. What about credit cards? Credit card interest is some of the highest around, and credit limits just get bigger and bigger. They do make life easy for some, but you'd be amazed what it costs if you don't pay the balance off each month. You have to be sure your credit card doesn't make promises that your income can't keep. What about higher purchase? Again, only get into higher purchase agreements if you've done your homework. Interest rates vary hugely, but can be as high as an eye-watering 23.9%. Find out how much the HP interest will add to the cost of whatever it is you're purchasing and work out if it wouldn't be much better to save the money and then buy. What about car finance? A car can be hard to live without, but it's worth remembering that most lose value quickly and that's not including the cost of actually running one. Borrowing money against an asset that generally loses money over time, such as a car, can really clobber your net worth. So keep a cool head and only borrow what you really need. Before you sign on the dotted line, explore all your finance options to get the best possible interest rate and thoroughly check out any fees and charges attached to the loan. When you understand how much debt can affect your net worth and your long-term financial well-being, it makes sense to monitor and manage it closely. Consult the sorted credit card calculator and our get out of debt calculator.